Hello, Internet and Hooper Pros alike. I know it's been a while since I've put up some content, but rest assured I'm not being stagnant, I'm not sitting around, I'm not doing nothing. I am slowly editing plenty of good entertainment for you folks, but honestly, editing things causes my computer to die, so that's why it's taking a little while. In the meantime, we have a package from 123hookas.com. Okay, there. They were hookastore.com. Now they're 123hookas.com. And um, I am seriously impressed with this because it they chose to use a tracking insured hard cased priority boxaduber for my shisha. So let's open this up. And, um, well, I've used most of my sharp pointy objects that I have here at this location. So I'm going to use a blunt object today. I have this part of an old lamp. I believe it's a brass rod. I think it can open a box. Got it. Okay, so what we have is a shisha that's new to me. Apparently it's well regarded. They've got a few kind of iffy miss flavors, but uh, it's well regarded and I am just shocked I had not heard of it before. Stumbled across it a little bit ago and uh, it is... I am totally going to butcher this name because of my tongue. Our, um, Al Rayan. I'm going to say Al Rayan. There's what it, how it's spelled. And the four flavors I decided on are nicely color coded. Look at that. That's pretty neat. I do want to talk about the design of the. I dropped one. <clears throat> the design of the package for a little bit. I know that sounds boring. But, uh, yeah, four flavors I got are gum with mint mosal. Can you focus on that? Is it possible? Maybe? No? Yeah. Gum with mint mosal. And it's interesting that every single one of these says molasses on it next to the flavor. I have not come across that before. It's interesting to me. So, gum with mint, I assume, is going to be spearmint. I don't know. That could be translated a few different ways. So, there's that. There's straight mint, regular mint, which is dark green compared to the lighter green. And uh, usually, spearmint is portrayed in a lighter green, so that's part of my assumption as well. So regular mint, and in the regular mint review, I will have a lot to compare it to. I will compare it to Alfaker, Social Smoke, Fantasia, if I must, uh, etc. Tanger's mint. So, lots of comparisons on the mint. Also, the one I'm really kind of excited about that will have quite a few comparisons is that gloss. Look at that gloss. Why is it so shiny? Hold on is um, vanilla. I always want a good vanilla. I want a vanilla. It's dark and smoky, a little earthy, very creamy, and not necessarily all Fokker cake batter. And I can't smell a thing through these packages. They just smell like printing ink. So, yeah. And the last, the fourth flavor is Orange with mint. Kind of doing the Alfak thing with the with this and that sort of angle, but um, I was assured that the regular orange tasted a little bit like diabetes because it was just super saccharine, and that uh, 
orange with mint molasses is a popular choice. So that will be interesting. Is it going to be Tropicana? Is it going to be Juicy Fruit? Is it going to be Runt's Orange? We'll find out. But yeah, the packaging. I essentially got three that are color-coded. Well, they're all... They all seem to fade from a signature color to a green, except for vanilla, which is just all cream color. I like them. I think they're very spiffy, clean design for the box. If I can get the shine off it, that'd be great. There we go. So, yeah, it looks like it would be nice having a row of these lined up in a, in a case, and it would be all purdy. But, yeah, here on the side it says, produced by Andalius and no, excuse me. A L A N Allen D A L U S Dalus Allen Dalus uh, flavored tobacco and mussel company in Jordan. It's another reason that I'm kind of excited about this because usually good stuff comes out of Jordan. The place. Okay, so opens up uh, just like an Alfacker box, no little slide-out tray maduber, and here's your interior little packet. Now, if you haven't guessed yet, I'm going to smoke the vanilla right now. Welcome back. Everything is set up. Had this going for a about a minute, and the flavor evolved instantly. First of all, out of the box, it did smell like batter, but it smelled like dark vanilla bean and batter, and to my dismay, a slight hint of coconut. I like coconut. If you like coconut, cool. As you can see, not the most impressive clouds. I thought that was a issue. So when I first started smoking it, it was it would taste like 50% dark vanilla bean and 50% alfacker cake batter. That was nice. I can dig that. That's that's good enough. That's that wins a. 7.9 for me. So, thin, wispy clouds, I thought, eh, two coals and a wind cover, right? That's what you do. It tastes kind of singed. And it still produces ghosty clouds. So, I'm not sure if it'll improve over time or not. We shall see. If you're interested, what I'm smoking out of is my old uh, brass top notch, a Turkish hose which hilariously barely fits in it. Here's the bottom. Don't look. Don't look at the table. It's a mess. Don't look at the table. And uh, yeah, two coconuts on a medium-sized uh, Egyptian bowl. So. Weird. So I'm going to be brave. I'm going to pop the wind cover back on. Let's see what this does. Alright, so the cloudage has improved. It's, uh, it's good clouds. Thick and rich and creamy, but it hits you in the back of the throat <laughs> a bit. <clears throat> Vanilla from 
Orion? It's kind of heat sensitive. It does not produce <clears throat> fantastic clouds when you give it low to moderate heat. But when you give it medium to medium high, it produces nice smoke. Yet, it's got that little bit of harshness. It's not going to keep me from enjoying it, but it might not be a newbie favorite because of that. Hmm. It's interesting, though. The first flavor is the rich, eggy, vanilla, battery kind of, not duracell battery, but, but a cake batter. I did test it with a different hose because I thought it might have been the Turkish's problem, but it wasn't. Yeah. Mm, it's got a it's got a kick. It's got a kick to it, alright. It's got a kick. So as I was saying, what was I saying? It's got a pretty good buzz. Um oh what I was saying was <coughs> Sorry. What I was saying was the initial is that rich cake battery vanilla. Which quickly slides into dark vanilla bean. The dark vanilla bean is what I'm after. But, mmm, the dark vanilla bean gets kind of a harshy flavor very, very fast. Well, not much more to say about it. It's a harder kick than Alphonger vanilla by far, meaning both <clears throat> a little harsher, back of the throat hit you, and um, the buzz is stronger. It's not like it's not like super substantial black leaf sort of feeling, but it's definitely there. So, if you want a creamy smooth, super sweet vanilla, don't bother. If you want a vanilla that's got kind of a complex flavor, in my opinion, that might be a little bit of a challenge on heating. And you don't mind a little bit of, a little bit of throat kick, then... Uh, you should definitely try a 50 gram of, and I keep looking at it to pronounce it right, Al Ryan, or Al Rian, Fuchsia.